not Dave, but local Dave. He's a three rail guy. And for some reason he bought out an estate of HO stuff. Of course he wants to just, he wants to flip it. But he's given me the opportunity to come by and cherry pick before he puts it up to sale for everybody else. I thought, man, that's awfully nice of Dave, local Dave. So we're heading on over to his place. Take a look and look at these six boxes. He says there's like 500 cars in there. He doesn't know if there's any locos. Plus we can also do a little tour of some of his three rail stuff. So follow along with me and we'll see what kind of cool stuff he's got. <laughs> well, we made it over here to Dave's house. Just a quick trip across town. You guys remember Dave? Hey everybody. That, that's his real voice too, honest. This is the this is the collection. All all of all these boxes here, it's all HO stuff. And he's he's peeked in there a little bit. Some of them he hasn't peeked in at all. But since he's not an HO guy, he don't know what he's looking at anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, but he's an old guy. No three railer. He's a three railer. O scale or no scale, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make this interesting, pull stuff out. Maybe we'll talk about neat stuff or I don't know. We're just, maybe we're gonna find some treasures. Maybe we're gonna find a bunch of blue box stuff. <laughs> maybe but, we'll find some new homes for these guys too. Yeah. We're still trying to figure out the logistics of selling them all. So, oh, well, I guess we'll get, get rooting into these things and see what the heck's in here. We'll get dirty. Peace. They've, they've bred. We only put two in the box. We closed it up, came back 15 minutes later. And then, yep, yep, it was full. We got updates. We got three boxes now that are completely empty. It's day 27 right now. We haven't, we ran out of fresh water and beer uh, three days ago. This has taken a lot more longer than we thought it would. And we just don't even know if it's worth it anymore. There's supposed to be a man with pizza showing up. From what I understand, I don't, I don't know. One heck of a way to spend a Friday night. Dave, local Dave, three real, three real Dave. He said that he thinks there was 500 pieces in here, and I went. Bah, bah, bah. Would you count? Uh, we were at 300 before we opened this box and that other box, so it was about 350. Hard concrete floor, work boots, backs howling. Yeah, we might have to turn this into a two-dayer. Two-dayer. Just so much. Here's some more tour in here. Found two protos so far. Might be more. Some Concours. IHC imports. Model power. Accurails. Just a ton of those lined up. Some Atlases. Ready to runs. Roundhouse kits. Look at these gorgeous passenger cars. Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac. And the reason I say that is because somebody's gonna give me a hard time because I said Potomac wrong. It's pronounced this, okay. Nice, nice set right there, passengers. Uh, little Great Northern set here, a little older, heavyweight. These are the lightweights. I don't know what they are, Concours. I don't see River Rossi on the bottom of them at all. They're, they're real light, they'd have to be heavied up a little bit. Almost, almost done. 
And for those of you that like, what are these, center flow hopper, covered center flow hoppers? There's a few of them. Just a couple. Yes, yeah. I think it's a lifelike. I think these ones are rare, I think. Oh, God. Oh, well, this is so happy. Oh, it's a blue box. Yes. I just will put you right there, little buddy. That's the, the last box. All the boxes are empty. Dave, local Dave's figuring it out. There's 250 from here over. Oh, he's counting. Because he's a numbers guy, you know. A lot of AccuRails, IHCs, Concor. Not too many. Two Protos. One BLI. Can you believe it? Some roundhouses. A few atlases that are actually marked. Mantua. A lot of these say Mantua on the bottom. That's an Atlas blue box because I need one of those. Atherin ready to runs right here. I love these. I love these. There's a whole bunch of them over here. The original Santa Fe's. Look at all. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I might have to buy those from Dave. So I like, I like the piggyback services. And the coal cars. Oh, so many. So many. Well, 565. Give or take one or two, but yeah, 565 for the total. Yep, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. We should go get a table at the train show in Montana here, coming up at the end of April. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Here's a uh, some classic candy. You guys remember these things right here, the little wax bottles? I found these. Looks like they said that they're nickel nickel nips is what these ones are called. I don't seem to remember that name as a child. But these were first invented in the 1920s during the Prohibition. It's been a long time since I've ever had any of these. I wonder if there are any. Oh, oh it just did something to my mouth. <laughs> yeah, tastes like Smurf. That's not bad. Uh-uh. And then apparently you still got to eat the wax. I don't know why. Very, oh God, no, that got bad. That, that's, not, that's worse than a crayon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's a filling. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this anymore. Yeah, just, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. They must have must just taste better as a child. I can only assume. So, we didn't know I, what we were doing as kids, anyways. So. Uh, wanted to get loaded on sugar. Ooh, that makes my. It just gets worse, actually. What's that? Oh, these? Yeah, that's some of that's some of Dave's. Not Dave, but the other Dave's trains. His his Lionel stuff. You want to see it? Okay, let me get this out. We'll show it to you guys. What's what's this you got up over here? Oh, that's uh, the Crusader um, Reading Railroad, and that was uh, one of the Art Decos that I uh, really, really kind of been drawn to. And uh, who who's the manufacturer? That is an MTH. Okay, I think it's a Proto Two. Wow. And what's up with these Pennsylvanias here? Oh, those are Lionel little commuter trains. I just. Just thought that they looked kind of cool. Now, at some point, I'd like to swap them out with some Illinois Centrals, but uh, have the rotary uh, snow plow and then my little snow plow connect, uh, collection there. <laughs> and uh, that's the wax, you know. Um, need a Illinois Central uh, engine to go with these uh, fine uh, passenger cars I think I picked up for $60 at Goodwill. Really? Yeah. I never find trains at Goodwill. They always want to auction them. Yeah, we got all, are those yeah, Lionels? Yep, those are Lionels. Look at these now, big beauties. Those wow. Rock Islands, that was a birthday present. And, uh, you know, growing up in Chicago, Rock Island, I had the special liking for those colors. Now, those aren't the actual engines that go with it, but they're placeholders until I get them. What but, locomotives are these? Who made know, these? Uh, those are Williams. Made okay. by Williams, but... Yeah. Uh, um, that's a Lionel Rock Island Rocket. That has uh, got an excellent sound system made by Lionel. Oh, and again, right. that Art Deco or something unusual is uh, just what captures my eye. Look at this chrome bugger. How oh, moly, what is that? That is the Flying Yankee. Lionel put that out in 1935. That was uh, similar to the Burlington that ran from Chicago to Denver and sits in the Museum of Science and Industry. What is this one? That's the Union Pacific 10005. Who made it? Uh, that is an MTH version there. Okay. And then this hiding out down over here. Oh, that's my little uh, Baltimore, Ohio bud train. 
These are all the cherries. This isn't the garage stuff, this is the in the house stuff. MTH uh, maintenance inspector car. Jeez, mother. And a little doodle bug Chicago Northwestern. Hey look, there's that tor there's that turbine that I hooked yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Up there probably on display. Look at these big yeah. cars up over here. Great Northern, the 2662. Look at this That's gorgeous made by bridge. A bridge? No, the bridge is actually a Menards. Oh, okay. But uh, that is an MTH. Oh no, I'm sorry. My uh, my apologies. That is a Lionel. Really? Yeah, it is. Wow. But if you go to the other other wall, this one here's got all the military stuff on it. Well, all that I could fit. Jeez, please. Yeah. Some of wow. those are Menards there. Wow. Here's the old post-war up here with the. I think, isn't it? Yeah, and those cruise cars, uh, I have uh, 17 total with two more coming from Train Z today. You get stuff delivered on Saturday? Yep. Huh. This uh, set here was uh, my father-in-law's set when he was a kid. And we'll go to one of our kids when they're ready. Oh, look, there's the helicopter. <laughs> it doesn't perform like it does in that commercial. And now the sub. Explosive cars, yeah, look at all, oh yeah. Sha, yeah, nice pieces. Thank you. So here's some passenger stuff up over here. What are these F units? Oh, those are also MTH, and the passenger cars are two MTH sets that I've kind of put together so I could fill up all the space on that shelf. Of course. But hey, you know, they're, they're just beautiful and I love them. This is right in the old family room here. Gotta love it how the little lady lets him decorate with trains. The deal was is she collects tin plates, so this is technically her collection. And uh, little things that we've picked up along the way. Um, Look at this key, key wound, M, was that an M10,000 or something? Uh, yeah, the 1005, same as the one upstairs, but uh, tin plate version. Who made it? Um, I think that's a Marx, yes, that is Marx. Okay. This one is from a German manufacturer, Nuremberg, in the 20s. We just picked that up. Hey, I bought one of these from you. Yes, uh, those are, um, I had a... Oh wait, nope, because it's a torpedo. That one's not a torpedo. Oh no, that is, that's a, a pre-war 1666. Look at this, it's in copper. The Copper Queen. Holy moly. There's two versions. That one is the unlit with one less passenger car. And then there's the Hefner there. That was a local sale that was in somebody's family and well now is in ours. Hefner Streamliners. Dave's got a tribute to the channel going on right here. So nice. Like this is the last one hanging out up over here. Yeah, something a little from the top of the entertainment center, a little Illinois Central with the wife's um, fishing trains and the daughter's uh, horse cars. What's in that Lionel? Is, is this the oh, fish, that's, fish that's tank? The, yeah, that's one of those uh, lit aquarium cars. Oh, okay. And then uh, the horse. Oh, there's another horse. one right there. The horses, of course, are for the rescue ranch that uh, is out in Colorado. Dave's layout is, doesn't exist yet because they just moved into the house not too long ago five and he wants months, to yeah, five months ago yeah. wants to build something you know how long it takes to get a layout going and stuff so i wish we could show you the layouts but he's got all these things to look at and you can't run them the foundations are being laid for the layout as we speak <laughs> let's get back into what we're doing this is day two and we have decided that we've organized as much as we want to do right now because it's just a hassle let me show you what we got here so this is what we got in a garage that's almost packed full of stuff. Yeah, 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 it's absolutely everywhere. So put them all upside down so we can figure out what they are. A lot of this is from yesterday and we're just like this, it just goes on and on and on with researching, trying to, looking up the things. Oh my God. These are all just covered center flow hoppers or just the whole wad. The majority of this table is the Athern blue box. Just found out these are roundhouse over here with the with the you know, hoppers. Still don't know what these are. It's taking just so much time. Roundhouse with the metal bottoms. Roundhouse that don't have the metal bottoms. Mantuas. 
Come in, they've all got a sticker that said made in China, made them easy enough. Out there and ready to roll. And, and oh my God. So we're just gonna put it all in the, bo in the boxes and then kind of go from there, I guess. It's organized so much. We two days, two days worth, yeah. It only took like an hour to put all this stuff away. Gee, so now we, we got Dave's garage back. I mean, this is all the stuff. All organized in there, packed. Let's get this loaded up and make a video. I went over there to Dave's to cherry pick, and then I decided that I, I just, I have to have it all. Dave just wants to sell it. He's not even set up to sell anything. He doesn't have an eBay account or nothing, so I took, it's, it's all, it's all right in here, in my, it's jammed in, so yeah. And, you know, the, the train cabin is small. It's super small. And I gotta set all this stuff up so I can continue to clean it up and organize it and get it working and then sell it piece by piece on the eBay or maybe some local fellers here in Billings, Montana would, would you know, stop by and buy some stuff from me. So the only thing I've got left is my old tour bus right here, back when I used to be a DJ. And I'd go on, t and I, so yeah. I think that this will be just right. Now, of course, I gotta put a couple of, I gotta put some tables in. It's 40 feet long, and it's got hot and cold running water. I can wash everything up in it, yeah. It's like, who could ask for anything more? Lights, furnaces, it's got stair radios. It's, it's, it's dark in here, is what I'm saying. Yeah, this is something that I built after I sold my bar and restaurant out in North Dakota. I built this thing. But now, you know, it's summertime. Well, it's almost summertime. And I've got RVs to fix. And I've got a video to put out every week. And now I'm gonna have a store that I gotta sell trains at to try to sell all that stuff. I got things to do. So I'm gonna try to launch this on Sunday. It's almost done, it's only Sunday afternoon, I'm ahead of schedule. I'm gonna finish this up, shoot it out to you guys. So we're all finished up for now, I guess. I'm Ron with Classic Model Trains. Thanks for following along, watching this purchase of this estate sale. All you 33 percenters out there, love ya. Have a good one. Bye-bye.